Okay, so one of the ways you can create some dimension is if some of these layers have um, uh, some shadowing on them. So one of the things you can do is I'm going to duplicate my uh, new face layer and we're going to rename this Extra Depth. All right, so I'm going to uh, delete the layer mask and go ahead and change the way this looks. I'm going to change some warping on it. So I'm going to do an edit, transform, and warp. And I'm going to pull out parts of his face like this. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. You know, like, why are you doing that? Well, you'll see in a second. Then you uh, go ahead and add a black mask to it. And we're going to add a few of uh, the same types of crazy splattery brushes uh, to this as well. Let's see. Yeah, this one's a, a fairly good one. There's so many to choose from. Sometimes it's tough. I'm trying to get one that's a, maybe a long one. I've got so many to choose from. Space that out, see how that one looks. That one might work. Which if I shrink it, make it go like that. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, one of the things you can do is if you work on the mask with something like this. So I get a mask, and you can kind of see how it's like part of the same face. You can see that coming through. Let me put that in a different spot here. So it's almost like I've got a copy of part of his cheek over here. All right. Obviously, if I hadn't have warped it, it wouldn't have done that. And what you can do is add a uh, filter to this layer in effects. So we go to effects, and I'm going to add a drop shadow to it. Now, we'll bring it up over here, and we can increase the size of it and change our direction here. Put it on the left here. And so it's about 120. And increase the distance. You see how that makes it kind of lift that piece off the page. See that? All right. So something like that. And so now I can take that that piece there and I can put it over here as if it's like overlapping part of my image. Uh, if you build these up, let me show you how that works. Um, I'm going to duplicate this layer. All right. And I'm going to uh, delete the layer mask, re-enable the layer mask by doing an alt mask. And we'll go ahead and paint another another brush, different one. Let's see. Yeah, that one there. All right. So what you're seeing here is we have pieces of the picture kind of overlapping each other. You can see how that works. Um, so it's like you can build up the the picture in 3D. Uh, you don't have to necessarily do it with a, uh, a fattened version. For example, if I did it with this regular one, I can just duplicate my new face here. We'll call it extra two and on this one here what I want to do is uh, once again delete the layer mask alt mask it and we'll just grab one of these control click this one here and just go ahead and uh, fill that in with white so edit fill with white there you go alright so I got this new mask over here and nothing's changed really on it well I can uh, disconnect these two and I can add a, uh, let's see, let's add the same drop shadow. So we're going to copy the layer style from this one up here that's not enabled right now and paste it on this one. So we'll paste the layer style by right clicking and pasting it. So now it's got that drop shadow. Well, if I have these two things disconnected, not having that chain before, it, I can move this into a position so you can kind of see how how it looks. Let me show you with the um, hidden hidden mask here. You can kind of see how that works. So you can kind of bring your picture in like so. Um, 
you can also you don't have to do a, a drop shadow you could do a outer glow kind of see how that that looks all right you could do a um, outer glow but make it be dark you can see how that works it goes evenly around um, the drop shadow though tends to do uh, the best at maneuvering it so you see you can maneuver this thing into the exact position you want and it ends up kind of looking like uh, there's some depth there like he's kind of pieced together in layers all right so um, anyway uh, something else to play with and what we want to do is in our final video we'll take some uh, of this into Illustrator and add some vector line work to give it that extra push and that's it for this video.